I wonder if one buckle can sense what the other one is feeling. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider Gates DX Command Twin Buckle and Raising Sword. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at. The packaging right up front here. We have the sword, we have the buckles, we have Geats, we have Tycoon. On this side we have Tycoon, on this side we have Geats. Up top we have the sword, the buckles, all that good stuff. On the bottom, words, things, warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And on the back of the box we have our obligatory product shots, and of course we have... Sad Pac-Man! That's basically it for... The packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Command Twin Buckle and the Raising Sword, the latest upgrade for Geats, and also Tycoon is going to be using this as well on the series. We don't know if anybody else will be using it, but so far Geats and Tycoon will be the ones using it, and uh, yeah, very cool items here. So we get some new buckles, and we also get the weapon that accompanies it, so that's cool, a nice little package here. And for the record, no, I did not get the Tycoon ID core. I was not one of the lucky ones, but oh well, it is what it is. If it was meant to be, it will be. Apparently it's not meant to be, but it's okay. I'm not going to stress about it. But first and foremost, let's take a look at the buckles. And here we have the Command Twin Buckles. As you can see, they're twinsies. They're twinsies, precious. Now, the side with orange is the jet side, and the side with blue is the cannon side. So we'll take a close look at uh, jet first. You got a lot of nice silver going on there. Again, you got those little spots of orange. Got a lot of nice detail going on in there. And there is the back. You got the rails and all that good stuff. Now this side activates via just pushing this button right here, which makes this button move. That will push the button on the driver. That's how that works. Now as far as the cannon side goes, now the cannon side does have electronics, that's right. So, but again, we'll take a close look. Again, nice silver, nice detail. Again, they're twinsies. So, mostly identical, but here is the back, so now we have some extra stuff going on here. This little bit here will activate noises. Uh, this is your on-off switch, and of course you have the QR code. You want to scan it, go ahead, free scan on me, you are welcome. And also the speaker is right in here. Now this one operates via the button, but it also has a lever that you can move forward. And again, that will activate... This little nub right here, which will push the button on the driver and tell it to do things. And uh, yeah, so if we remove our, uh, our on-off switch, and we pull the lever... There you go. It'll say full charge, then you push the button. Tells you what it is in case we already forgot. And we'll just do that again. Just pull the lever. So you got full charge and some music. And yeah, that's what you get there. And that's what it does on its own. So without further ado. Let's bring in the Desire Driver and our friend the Rider Can, because if the Rider Can, you can. So let's get down to it. So we'll start off with Jets. Are we ready to go? Just push the button and Hesham. And that is great. Just, just great. And to do the attack, just push the button again. And you have your great strike. It's such a great, great strike. So now we will add the cannon and see what happens.
All right, ready to go. And shoot. Take off complete, jet and cannon ready, fight. I like how it said fight a little deeper there. Very cool. So again, we'll do our attack. We you have your command, twin victory. Now if we push the uh, buttons. It's locking on. Oh, that command twin victory! And if we push the button again, nothing. Nothing happens. And if we push this button, You get a great hyper victory. Now uh let's let's try this. Okay, push this button. As you can see, that's still going. That'll keep going until we do this. And there you have that. So now let's do some combos here with Jet and our uh, good buddy Boost. You get a great boost. It's so great. You get a great boost grand victory. Oh, it's just great and boosting and grand. It's just great and grand. Great boost victory. So there you have that. And now we'll do a uh, cannon. So you see there, it does the noise for great and cannon. It doesn't acknowledge boost there with that henchin. So there you get the hyper boost victory, just like you got with the fever slot buckle.
And explosions and explosions. So that is what happens there. And now we'll bring in the Magnum Shooter Fall Zero X. We use a uh, jet first. Get a great tactical blast. Let me push the button. Such a great tactical blast, isn't it? So great. And uh, let's see what Cannon does. Still a great tactical blast. What if we pull the lever? You get a soundtrack with it. Uh -oh. So that's what happens there. So there you go. So now let's talk about the Raising Sword, and this is the weapon that accompanies the Command Twin Buckle, and a cool looking sword in my opinion. I do quite like the design, but let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. We have some nice transparent plastic up in here because we're going to have some lights going off. You got one half of the blade done in orange, one half done in blue. Of course, these sections are done in that soft-ish plastic for its safety, even though if you smack somebody with this, that's still going to hurt. That's still going to hurt. really doesn't matter. But anyway, you got some nice silver here. You have a slot here for your buckle. You got the blue. You got the orange. Detailed down the handle. Here is your trigger. Again, you got that orange and the blue. And your battery compartment is right here. The batteries are included, so you don't have to worry about that. Your on-off switch is right here. And your speaker is right here. And, of course, you have this section so you can holster it on the driver if you wish. You can see just a bit of detail going down the blade on this side. And you have this button right here, which is a release button. But yeah, overall, a pretty cool sword design. I do quite like it. So let's turn it on. So again, your on-off switch is right here. Turn it on, and we get... It tells you what it is in case you already forgot. And you can see those lights going off in the blade. I'll do that again. There you go, some nice bright lights. And when you pull the trigger, a little slashy slash, slashy slash. Rapid fire that if you want to. Just go nuts with it, just go nuts with that. Now we can do an attack here if we push this button. those lights going off in the blade and you have your tactical raising and you have to make sure you raise your tacticals properly so they grow up to be good adult tacticals anyway so there you have that attack right here now of course we can incorporate a buckle into this now on the show the cannon buckle was attached to this and this just plugs right in like that it tells you it is set and now when we pull the trigger you get a different little slash noise. And we can pull the lever down. That just keeps going. That's how that seems to work. And that's what you get there. We'll do it again. Twin 
So you get the tactical raising with a soundtrack. Seems how that works. But now, when you have a buckle plugged in, it is locked in there. Do not just yank it out because you will break something. Again, the release button is right here. So push that. And you can disengage the buckle. Now, of course, we can plug jets into it as well. Like that. Sets. Just says full charge. And you get your tactical raising again. So that's what you get there. Now, can you plug other buckles into this? Well, yes, you can. We can take boost. Plug boost in here. Now we have boost. Now you just get your tactical raising. And that is how that works. And there you go. So there you have the Command Twin Buckle and Raising Sword. And uh, yeah, nice little package here. You get two buckles, you get a weapon. And uh, yeah, really cool. Uh, love the noises, love the integration. I think it just over the overall design of this is really cool. Really dig that. So yeah, definitely a cool set here. I'm a fan. I am definitely a fan of this, so. There you go. Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for Geats items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Geats playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also link in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Common Rider Geats, the X Command Twin Buckle and Raising Sword. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face!